Who do I think this camera is for? Now, I'm about to show my age because when I was in college... What's going on, man? It's the kid DJ Fitted, and we are back with another video, man. Brand new week. It is Monday. Start of a new week. I'm actually finally kind of going back to work this week as well. Uh, I mean, I've DJ. Don't get me wrong. But I don't really consider that working. Yes, it pays well. But as far as working, I mean my business, my company, the thing that I solely control and own and determine when and when, where, how, and if I want to work. <laughs> so I'm back to that. I got a few projects to handle. But I need to go eat. And uh, I definitely need to give my uh, opinion of this uh, Canon PowerShot V10. I'm shooting on that today as well. And I'm going to tell you what I like about it. I'm going to tell you what I don't like about it. I'm going to tell you who it may be for and who it might not be for. Now, I am no tech channel, so I'm not about to go super deep into what this camera is and what they should have did different. Or real, I won't get real techie, I'll say. I'm going to say what they should do different, but I won't get real techie with, like, super specs and, and all of that. But I will definitely tell you who I think this camera is for and why I actually bought it for my girlfriend. Because I think she's the perfect person for this. Yeah, but right now, I need to go to the bank. And I need to get something to eat. But 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 but, but we're gonna take the camera along for the whole process because that's the beauty of this camera being so small. Alright, so we I have made it to another location. Uh I have made it to Whole Foods. Now I have no clue what I'm about to get. Uh I haven't been inside of Whole Foods in a long time. Sprouts and Publix are my, my go-to grocery stores, but today we're at Whole Foods. Because tomorrow, me and my girl are going on this, like, diet to lose some weight. Because um, I think a lot of us did a lot. And I don't just mean me and her, but just people in general did a lot during the pandemic. Whether they've been liquor, just bad eating habits, and now all that's catching up. And I'm getting older. I'm about to be... I ain't want to say my age. If, you, if you've heard me say my age before, then you know what I'm about to be. But I'm getting older, and uh, I got a birthday coming up in a month. So I definitely want to go ahead and get my life together, man. Uh, I've had a couple uh, incidences, uh, incidences. I've had a couple incidents uh, where uh, I haven't felt the best, uh, either waking up uh, or just whatever. So I'm trying to change my diet. I know that's important as I get older, um, especially being in my thirties. I know I gotta really improve on those things. Probably need to cut my consumption of alcohol. Probably to a screeching halt. <laughs> I probably really, really, really need to do that. So, but right now, uh, life is all about balance. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna balance it out. We go. We gonna have fun with it. And yeah, but right now, let's get something semi healthy to eat. I guess if not, I'm about to just grab some groceries for later on, and probably eat terrible since today is the last day for me to be able to do that. So, and I don't know how Vegas is gonna work. I'm, we we might just have to have some cheat time when we go to Vegas. Alright man, so no luck on no food in there, but I did pick up some cool items. Well not cool items, but I did pick up some things that I don't see at my normal grocery store. So yeah man. Biggest thing was uh this lemonade I love, so I got that. And uh it's hot. Now we gotta find food still. But I'm gonna say this about Whole Foods. It's just an overpriced grocery store, man. So if you go in there, you definitely gonna spend some money. But if you're looking for like those uh, well-marketed waters and, and things of that nature. Yeah, of course they do have a lot of organic foods, but I will say that Sprouts gives you more bang for your buck. Even Trader Joe's to me gives you more bang for your buck than uh, Whole Foods. Whole Foods just has a 
dope uh like spread of food sometimes when you go in there like their little hot food area that'd be fire but today they just had like basic stuff like chicken wings uh, then they had like an indian food section today but nothing that i was just like yeah let me get that to eat and then be satisfied so when in doubt when in doubt we go to chipotle so i think that's where i'm about to go right now I'm about to go to chipotle and then to the bank and then back home some work and then i will give you my full thoughts and ideas on this camera and who it's for and why i think it's for these people because i've seen a lot of people like i said check this camera out but i'm gonna talk about it when i get home bag secure we got some food sweet tea no soda I'm not saying sweet tea is any better a lot of sugar still but i'm trying to break my habit of drinking so much pop or soda as they say in atlanta in the south but uh Quick sandwich, fruit cup, no chips. Trying to do better, y'all. Just, just work with me. <laughs> Yo, I wish I could have pulled the camera out faster, but I'm driving and I saw this. Literally just saw somebody doing the whole, like, uh, if you're not familiar, the little NPC thing, like the girl that's saying, gang, 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 gang. Just saw somebody standing on the sidewalk doing that. Uh, we live in some wild times, man. I, and I know vlogging at one point in time was very weird. And it was, you know, seeing people walk around with big cameras and stuff like that. Especially if you buy yourself with it. I know you probably, people probably look at you like, what are you doing? Like, what, what are you, like, why are you filming yourself and stuff like that? And even some places don't even want you to come in there with cameras uh and and that's another point of, about this camera i'm going to talk about uh its size but <laughs> i never thought i would actually see somebody actually outside doing the whole npc character thing he was dressed up like a samurai too i really wish i could have had the camera out in time because <laughs> boy oh some wild times man a lot of time has passed and i have uh been getting some work done played the game got food uh drove by a crime scene and all of that i didn't have the camera with me but i just wanted to speak real candidly about who this camera is for and not from a tech standpoint literally just from the standpoint of somebody who just really wants something that's just point and shoot and that's really what canon's power shot line is now we can argue the price being too much but i would just say this i just look at this being the cost of inflation i think this uh is going to definitely drop in price or they're going to do some kind of bundle for Black Friday, where you're gonna get it for the same price, but maybe get a memory card, a case. Who do I think this camera is for? Now, I'm about to show my age because when I was in college, they had this thing called the flip cam. Very simple camera, you just had the little camera itself, the USB flipped out of it, you plugged it into your computer, and that's how I got the footage off of it. To me, this camera is the same thing. Like, literally, it's just one button in the front of it to record. You also got the, the flip up camera person who just wants to pull this out their pocket, pulls out their purse, um, and they want something that's not their phone because maybe they don't have the, uh, the phone that has a lot of storage on it, and they can put a separate memory card in this. Whatever, I just think this is probably the perfect thing for them. Now, like I said, price point, maybe overpriced. Uh, and the other thing I don't like about this camera is it doesn't have any picture profiles. Now, I've seen a lot of these people that review this camera talk about the, oh, the slow motion, all that. But I'm trying to tell you, I think the person that this camera is really for is for that person that just wants to point and shoot. They're not looking for action or things of that nature. I just really just think it's the point and shoot. Like, I, my girlfriend, this camera is for her. She's literally going to just flip this up, press the record button, and she's going to film herself doing makeup clients or her own face or talking about a product. Um, you can run a microphone out of this, so that'd be the only thing that I would personally probably do if this was like my daily carry. Um, you have to get a hot shoe mount for it, but you can just run an external microphone, give you better audio. Uh, but other than that, man, this flip up camera, the form factor of it, of you being able to just to do this, is dope. Now, the image stabilization, if you wanna hear some techie stuff, um, does crop the lens, and that sucks, cause it's like super zoom, but it's still a wide enough lens if you fully extend your arm it's still kind of good to go. Other than that, like I said, I don't, all the techie stuff I've seen in all the reviews for this camera, I just think people are doing way too much with it. And it's like, I don't, I don't know. Now, yes, if you really decide to really dive deep into 
recording and filming, you're gonna probably wanna get a Sony A7 or a Sony A6000 series camera because you'll have the profiles or maybe go to Canon R series or maybe even RX100. Like, no, that's still a Sony camera. What was that, G7X2? Maybe you'll go to those cameras, but I just think if you just really just wanna just dive into something that's so simple that all you have to do is press one button to record, this is the perfect camera for that person. The person who just wants something that's not their phone. Um, because yes, your iPhone does shoot amazing quality video with the right lighting and things of that nature. If you just want something and don't have to worry about the storage on your phone or even trying to figure out how to get the footage off of your phone, just pop this memory card in your computer whether you're on PC or Mac, I think that's who this camera is for. Now I haven't used this camera in low lighting low lighting settings yet, but I've ha I have used it in the broad daylight in the built-in ND filter or uh, sunglasses for your lens perfect uh it adjusts on the fly it was quick i like it i wish some of these cameras that were non-cinema cameras had this stuff built into it as well i'm not gonna tech spec you out this is cameras for the person who really wants to keep it simple stupid and just be able to press one button and record and that's what it's for i don't think they care about picture profiles i don't think they care about slow motion especially with 4k being a buzzword it says 4k they're good 4k 30, I think that's as high as it goes on here, but a lot of people want that cinematic look, and then 30 gives you enough of a real life look. You're good to go, man. I, that, that, that's just me being me, a person that has used this camera all day long type situation. So, might be the best companion for a DJ if you don't want to carry a big camera around. Uh, as a DJ, maybe I would get like one of the action cameras or whatever, something a little more durable just in case it falls off of a, a stage or something from the vibrations. But other than that, man, I guess this camera is for the person who just wants something simple. And yes, we have to talk about the pricing of it again, like I said. I just think that's inflation. I also just think that's new camera to the market. We haven't seen anything this compact from Canon that was just simply just for vlogging. Um, I mean, yes, you had your other point shoots, but just a pure video camera, I think it's perfect for that, man. But till next time, DJ fitted that light skin wonder. I'm about to get back to work because I ain't trying to be up all night and I gotta edit this video for y'all, man. But if this video helps you, that's what's up. Um, if you still want all the techie stuff out of it, then there are plenty of videos to go watch about the Canon PowerShot V10. But like I said, I just think this camera's for the person who just wants something beside their phone. But till next time, man.